In verifying whether the given set is a group under the given operation, let's start and focus first on the completion of the given K-list table. We have here the set G or the Z sub 4 which contains the elements 0, 1, 2, and 3 under addition module 4. Take note that for operation involving modulo, we are talking about here the remainder for uh, when a certain number is divided by, in this case, 4. So let us have here, let star first so that we could come up with our key table. Let star be addition modulo 4 in such a way that we could have the, uh, we, we, we can actually uh, um, it's okay now to complete the Kelly table because we have now verified our star. At the same time, we'll be using the star as we move further with our proof. Okay, so we have zero, uh, uh, this addition module four. So let's add the elements first and then see the remainder when the result is divided by four. So zero plus zero is zero. Divide by four, the remainder is zero. Zero plus one is one. Module four is one. 0 plus 2 is 2, modulo 4 is 2, 0 plus 3 is 3, modulo 4. That's also here, 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 0 is 3. Okay, again, that's a 3. Next, 1 plus 1 is 2, modulo 4, 1 plus 2 is a 3, modulo 4, 1 plus a 3 is 4, modulo 4, the remainder is 0. 2 plus 1 is a 3, modulo 4. 2 plus 2 is 4, that's 0, modulo 4. 2 plus a 3 is 5, that's 1, modulo 4. 3 plus 1 is 4, that's 0, modulo 4. 3 plus 2 is 5, that's 1, modulo 4. And 3 plus a 3 is 6, that is actually 2, modulo 4. As you can see, we can now say, of course, that our set in the first place is not empty because it has elements 0, 1, 2, and 3. And if we're going to look at the results when we are going to apply the binary operation of addition modulo 4 to all the elements, we can see here that the result of 0, 1, 2, and 3 are all elements of Z sub 4. This means the closure property is present. Now that we have this, let's proceed to our um, conditions for the group. Let's start with G sub 1, rather. So that's G sub uh, G1. G1 is identification where the star is associative in G, which is equal to Z4. Now, we can actually look into the relationship and pick three elements, A, B, and C, such a way that we we can satisfy this a star b star c is equal to a star b star c okay and implement that but of course one um, set of three elements that will satisfy this is not enough for us to say that associativity is satisfied hence we are going to check for all but it will take us a lot of time then we just need to invoke the associativity for our integers. So we can say here that since um, addition okay, uh, is commutative. Uh, sorry, not commutative. That's my bad. Associative. Associative in general. Uh, and in Z, set of integers, while uh, at the same time, we can say that um, the elements of Z4, 0, 1, 2, and 3 are also elements of Z, then we can say that star is associative in which is associative means the addition modulo is a, a associative in Z sub 4. Again, since addition is associative in general and in Z, and you have 0, 1, 2, 3 elements of Z, 
uh, which are also elements of z sub 4, then we can say star is associative in z4. Okay, we can just uh, we can say like that. Oh, that's enough because we already have the star. Sorry, I forgot to uh, construct the the structure of this the correct or the more appropriate structure of the proof. But this in mind, we are invoking the associativity of addition in general, especially for our integers, and our elements are also 0, 1, 2, 3 element of integers, and that associativity should also work for addition modulo 4. If that is enough with you, let's proceed now for our G2. Let me change the color here to black. Okay, so G2 is for our um, existence of an uh, a identity element, sorry. So you have here let A the element of G, then our we find E which is equal to our E which is element of G such that we have here A star uh, E is equal to E star A equal to our uh, A for all A element of our G. So we could see it in our case table actually. Okay, so I don't know if I could copy this. Uh, let me try to copy this. Okay. Copy. Okay. Sorry, again. Copy. Okay. Increase the here. Sorry. Copy. And let me paste it here. Paste. Oh, I'm just having the um, the results. Uh, let me write here the the origin. You have zero, one, two, three. You have your star here, zero, one, two, and three. So the red colored uh, text are the results. So we can see here that when we say um, our identity element here would something that when an element is multiplied to that you will still result to the same element itself just like zero star zero is zero okay and we know that for addition our identity element is zero let's just examine it here so you have here one uh, star zero is equal to zero star one is equal to one for two two star 0 is 0 star 2 that's 2 3 star 0 0 star 3 is 3 for all of this these are only possible if this set of elements here okay is present in our g and these are actually just the same as 0 itself so our identity here is 0 and this element of g Therefore, G2 is satisfied. Okay, G2 is satisfied. Because there exists an identity for our um, operation here, which is 0. And it's an element of our G. Or Z sub 4. Okay? Now, let's have our last condition. Our, uh, what do you call this one? Our G3. G3. Which is the existence of our inverse so let a element of g find the inverse which is also element of g such that a star inverse is equal to a inverse star a equal to e which is zero hence we're just going to look for the pair for each element that when uh, subjected to the operation the result would be the identity element of zero so we start here with zero star zero that's zero for one we can get zero here if one this is to be sub uh, is to be um, operated with three so one star three is equal to three which is also star one equal to uh, zero okay for two star two two star two is equal to zero so for all of this in mind we can say that the inverse of zero is zero the inverse of three one is a three 
the inverse of 3 is 1, the inverse of 2 is 2 itself. And all of this results, okay, we have here 0, 3, 1, and 2. They're all elements of G. This means that for all elements in A, their inverses are also element of the same set. This means G3 is also satisfied. With this now, G3 satisfied, G2 satisfied, and of course our associativity earlier is satisfied. We can now say that Z4, which is our G containing elements 0, 1, 2, and 3, is a group under star. And our star is defined as addition modulo 4. This is the complete um, verification to, uh, to say that our set is a group under addition modulo 4. Thank you very much for watching.